Hi guys. Thanks for watching. Goals that I have for 2024 are to sew and to knit and to craft and to do all of the things. But this is the one about sewing. So the one thing I really wanted to show you, I can't find. <laughs> hmm. It's hiding somewhere in my house. Okay, let me tell you about it. The thing that I cannot find is a quilt and it's like a buffalo plaid quilt. I will try to find a picture so I can show you a picture of what it looks like. And um, I had it all, uh, I had it all sewn up and I basted it and it's all ready to just quilt. But because we were having company over, I wanted to clean everything up and I put it somewhere and I don't know where I put it. So I'm going to be looking for that this weekend. Um, hopefully I find it soon because I want to finish it because we want to use it on our bed because it is a king size quilt. And currently uh, we don't, the one I made last is a queen size, it's just oversized. So I want, um, I want another quilt. And we bought one at the store, but I mean, come on. If you quilt, you know that it's not the same. A homemade, a homemade quilt is just, it's so much nicer. It's a hundred percent better. So that's a project that is like needs to be done. I quilted the last one myself on my own home machine. It was a pain, but it's doable and I did it and I'm going to do this one too. I haven't actually ever sent one off to get quilted. One of these days I am going to piece together a quilt that is worthy uh, to be sent off to a quilter. I feel like sometimes I rush my work and it doesn't always look great and I feel guilty sending off when I don't feel like it's perfect. And that seems silly to say out loud that that would be why I wouldn't ship it off to have it quilted, but um, that's kind of where my brain goes sometimes. So, and when I can do it myself and I really do like free motion quilting, it's, it's really fun. So it's a combination of things. One of these days though, I'm going to do a quilt that make a quilt that I want a special pattern that a long armor can only do. Moving on, let's talk about some other projects. That's number one on my list of things that I wanna make. This is number two. These are some fabrics that I picked out because I wanna make some beeswax wraps. So I've already picked out several fabrics. I pre-washed them. All I need to do is hem the sides and so, uh, some of them I want to sew up into bags. So I just need to get my serger out. Um, it's, I think it's threaded. I think I just have to get it out and I want to serge the edges um, just to clean up the edges and turn some of them into bags because I want to put bees, then put beeswax on them and use them for food use them for, I make bread, so I wanna use it for a bread bag. And that's just something I know I can do. And I want the product. So it's more about, I want the finished product. It's not necessarily about making the project. So that's probably why it's been um, not getting done because it's kind of, um, it's a multiple step process and I just haven't finished it yet. So that's why I'm talking about it because if I hold myself accountable to make it, maybe it'll move up further on the priority list. Another thing I wanna make is this Harry Potter quilt. 
This is something I have been kind of collecting fabrics for. Uh, I'll see like Harry Potter fabrics and I'll pick them up. I found <clears throat> in one of my quilting magazines, which I don't have handy with me, but I will put the number of the magazine and what the title is that I got the, the idea for this out of. It came, the magazine, you know how they come with extra stuff sometimes? Um, this one came with this little uh, template, this rectangle acrylic template. Or did I say rectangle? I'm in triangle, triangle template. Um, so basically you just make long strips of triangles and then you sew those strips together. So... So all of my fabric is pretty much cut out and I just have to sew it up. But next fall, it would be really nice to have this quilt to cuddle up under while I'm watching Harry Potter. I usually like to watch it in the fall. It's, um, I don't know, something about as soon as the first leaves fall, it, I want to start watching them again. So. Um, another project, a quilt that I would like to finish, and this doesn't have to be completely finished. Like the Harry Potter quilt, I would like to get it completely finished. And, um, I have some fleece that I could use for the backing. Like I just want it to be a lap quilt, um, to use, uh, in the recliner, just a comfortable around the house lap quilt. This one is called The Village. It's really hard to see from there. I think it was a sew along and I was doing so good and then I just dropped off. And that's about how my stuff goes sometimes. But it's like a peekaboo. I made, I made it a peekaboo quilt because I put like, you can see the Heather Ross fabric I used inside this house. So this is going to be such a cute quilt when I get it all done. What I would really like to do is if I could just, I don't know, get all the houses put together at least this year. It doesn't have to be quilted, but man, it would be nice to have this thing, this uh, quilt panel front done. It would be. Then I'd like to sew more of my pizza bags. You can find this fat a fat quarter for this on my spoon flower shop. And it has the panels for the pizza and the handle on the inside. But I went ahead and printed more for myself and I want to sew up a bunch more of these pizza bags just to like give as gifts or to have them on hand if I ever do want to do a craft fair or something. So that's on my list as a project that I would like to get done. And I have like, uh, I can't remember how many I bought. I bought um, a lot of fabric though. So there's several that when I get the chance to sit down and work on these, it'll be nice to have them all finished. That's a project. I'd like to do more um, Spoonflower designing. I really have loved designing stuff on Spoonflower and uh, printing them out and making, sewing them up. And then of course, um, when there's something that's really, really cute, I want to share it with everybody. So I make them for sale. This is um, one that I've designed. I just love cats. So that is a baby bib. This part on the bottom is the pocket. I have some sewn up, maybe in the next, maybe I'll sew this up 
in the next video. Let's see. Some shirts that I want to make are McCall's 7286 and Simplicity 1463. I would like to make, I love that Dolman style shirt. Um, so I'd like to make one of those. I'd like to make like this one, I think. Um, and then I'm not sure. I like longer sleeves or quarter sleeves. So I really want to make those. And then I have this beautiful fabric. I love this fabric. And then I was like, wait, what if I don't have enough? So I went back and bought the rest of the bolt so I could make something either a dress or I might make a shirt out of it I don't know before I cut it out though I want, I want a pattern that I'm gonna wear a lot because I think this is so pretty um, and then this I think would make one of those cute shirts so a couple shirts plus I have a tank top already cut out that's just a white tank top from um, What's their name? Seamwork. Um, Seamwork. I have one of their, I think it's a tank dress or a tank top, and I cut out the tank top, and I want to sew that up. It's already cut out and everything. I'm sure, like, there's, there's always bags I want to make. Um, there's just lots of sewing projects I would like to do, but mostly I would just like to document them. So I'd like to have them on record of what I've actually made. So that's what I'm gonna do this year. I'm just gonna do all the crafting I can possibly do, can fit in along with being a mom and working full time and cooking meals and cleaning and doing all the things, but that's okay. I like being busy and I operate better when I'm busy, if I didn't work, I would do less. I, I just know this is, this is something I've learned about myself and that's okay. If you are still listening, please give me a thumbs up so that uh, YouTube will push my videos out to other people that would also like to watch something like this. And just thank you guys for watching and supporting. And if you want to see what I end up doing with all this stuff, then hit subscribe so in the bell so you can be notified and you can catch the next video. Maybe I'll do a podcast next and talk about what I've done. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye, guys.